Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says refer to example 13. Example 13 says two dice, one blue and one grey are thrown at the same time. Write down all the possible outcomes. What is the probability that the sum of the two numbers appearing on the top of the dice is number 1, 8, number 2, 13, and number 3 less than or equal to 12. Then complete the following table. Now, if the sum on two dice is 2, then probability is 1 over 36. And if sum on two dice is 8, probability is 5 over 36. And if sum on two dice is 12, probability is 1 over 36. Part 2, a student argues that there are 11 possible outcomes, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Therefore, each of them has a probability 1 over 11. Do you agree with this argument? Justify your answer. Now we know that the probability of an event E is written as PE is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E upon number of All possible outcomes of the experiment. So this is a key idea behind the question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Now when two dice are thrown simultaneously All possible outcomes are one on the first die and one on the second die. One, two, that is one on the first die and two on the second die. One on the first die. And 3 on the second die. Again, we can have 1 on the first die and 4 on the second die. 1 on the first die and 5 on the second die. And again, 1 on the first die and 6 on the second die. Similarly, we can have 2 on the first die and 1 to 6 on the second die. So the ordered pairs are. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Again, we can have 3 on the first die and 1, 2, 6 on the second die. So the ordered pairs are 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. 3, 4, 3, 5 and 3, 6. Now we can have 4 on the first die and 1 to 6 on the second die. So the order pairs are 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 
nine and four six. Now we can have five on the first dial and one to six on the second dial. So other pairs are five one, five two, five three, five four, five five and five six. Again we can have six on the first dial and one to six. On the second dial, so order pairs are six one, six two, six three, six four, six five, and six six. Therefore, number of all possible outcomes. Is equal to six into six, which is equal to thirty-six. Let A be the event of getting the the sum on two dice. As three. So from the above table, the outcomes favorable to A are one, two, and two, one. Therefore, the outcomes favorable. To the event A R one two and two one. So the number of outcomes favorable to the event. A is equal to two. Hence, probability of the event A is equal to two upon thirty-six. Let B be the event of getting the sum on. Dies as four. So from this table, the outcomes favorable to event B are one three, three one, and two two. So the number of outcomes favorable to the event B. Is three. Hence, probability of the event B is equal to three upon thirty-six. Let C be the event of getting the sum on two dice. As five. So from this table, the outcomes favorable to event C are one four, two three, three two, and four one. That is one two three four. These are the number of outcomes favorable to the event C. Hence, probability of the event C 
that is PC is equal to 4 upon 36 let D be the event of getting the sum on two dice as six so the outcomes favorable to the event D are one five two four three three four two five one that is the number of outcomes favorable to the event D are one two three four five hence the probability of the event D is equal to Five upon thirty six. Let E be the event of getting the sum on two dies as seven. So from this table. The outcomes favorable to the event E are 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2 and 6, 1. Hence the number of outcomes favorable to the event E is 6. So, Probability of the event E is equal to 6 upon 36. Let F be the event of getting the sum on two dice as 9. So the outcomes favorable to the event F are 3, 6, 2, 4, 5, 5, 4 and 6, 3. So the number of outcomes favorable to the event F is equal to 4. Hence probability of the event F is equal to 4 over 36. Let G be the event of getting the sum on two dice as 10. Hence the outcomes favorable to the event G are 4, 6, 5, 5 and 6, 4. Therefore, the number of outcomes favorable to the event G is equal to 3. Hence the probability of the event G is equal to 3 upon 36. Let H be the event of getting the sum on two dice as 11. Therefore, the outcomes favorable to the event H are 
फाइव सिक्स एंड सिक्स फाइव एंड दे आर टू इन नंबर सो द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ पेरेंट एच इज इक्वल टू टू अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स देर फोर द रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन इज If the sum on two dice is three, its probability is two over thirty-six. And if the sum is four, its probability is three over thirty-six. And for the sum five, probability is four over thirty-six. And if the sum on two dice is six, its probability is five over thirty-six. And for the sum seven, it is. Six over thirty-six, and for the sum nine, it is four over thirty-six, and for ten, it is three over thirty-six, for eleven, it is two over thirty-six. So this is the answer for part one. Let's move to the part two. Now in part two. A student argues that there are eleven possible outcomes: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Therefore, each of them has a probability one by eleven. Now, after observing this table, we do not agree. With the student's argument. Because the eleven sums are not equally likely, hence the answer for part two is no. We do not agree with the students' argument. The eleven sums are not equally likely. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.